What's up guys, more Medic One. Hey, today, welcome to the shop. We're going to be working on the 2022 uh, RZHD 48 inch Spartan Zero Turn. Um, we're, we are going to be installing a sprayer tray and I bought a sprayer at uh, my local home and uh, ranch store. It's going to be awesome. We're going to get this mower in the air. I'm going to use my little lift here. I'm just going to use an old belt to go around the rops and we'll get it up in the air so that we can actually work on this thing. That should be just about right. If we pay attention to this area right here, we got a, a bolt here and a bolt here that just goes through and it's a carriage style bolt. I don't know if we can see it or not. See it right there just a little bit. We need to get those two bolts out right there because we're going to install factory two inch receiver hitch. All right, the two bolts we need to get to are right here, very accessible. I'm just gonna reach down here with my little impact. can't tap that one out there. Got you out of frame there just a little bit, sorry. And this is what the bolt looks like. It's a carriage bolt. And there's one one there and one here. Let's go ahead and get this one out as well. Once you get those out this is going to allow the muffler shield to drop down just a little bit which is what you want. So let's go ahead and slide in The receiver hitch looks like it's going to go in without a fuss. I'm just going to take my brass hammer. Tap it in place. Let's just see how close we got for our holes to be lined up. Almost perfect. Let's go ahead and drop our bolts back in. All right, looks good. We're gonna have to run this down with a impact wrench. Let me show you the main purpose of this hitch right here because I you know those of you that have followed me know that I you know I've got about an acre and a quarter and I got a lot of fence line that needs to be uh, sprayed with weed killer and we'll go over that in a different video but I just want to get the sprayer tray mounted and get that sprayer on here and uh, we'll see how it turns out. All right let's see how that tray fits fits pretty good go ahead and put the supplied pin in Let it 
shot fits. Now this sprayer tray is supposed to accommodate just about any 15 gallon uh, sprayer and they recommend just using some bungee straps to hold it on. Solid. That's not going anywhere. May adjust them a little bit. Yeah, I like that. That makes an awesome little spray rig. I'm going to make me a little wiring harness and some wire loom. All you do is you hook the end of your lead up to your battery. Mm -hmm. I've just got it temporarily ran through that seat grommet there. I'm going to run it right along right up here for now just to make sure I don't get in the way of the muffler and then we'll run it right back here and when we get ready to spray we'll just plug it in and it's easy to disconnect one pin and hey you know what? You can adapt this to just, you can put this on the back of your pickup, uh, in, on the back of your four-wheeler, anything with a two-inch receiver. But like I said, I'm going to order the little chrome bumper that wraps around to go on the back of this while I'm not using my little spray rig. But anyway, guys, hey, if you're interested in this, I'm going to link everything in the video in the in the description and in the video comments if you're interested in that i'm going to put the link to uh the spartan uh mowers and i'll put a link to ranch pro 15 gallon um, sprayer and i might just uh go ahead and put a couple of affiliate links in there so that you can click on those and it'll help out my channel so much all right guys hey in the next video, we'll be using this thing. I'm going to uh, be making my own uh, non-toxic uh, weed killer out of uh, vinegar, some dish soap, and some table salt. And we're going to spray all the grass that's coming up on my brand new driveway. It's driving me insane. So, y'all stay tuned for that. And guys... Have a good day, Mormitic One.